listen carefully because what we're talking about on the show is the problems with this as it pertains to voting and and trampling on state uh, constitution. That is not where Joe Manchin's problem is uh, because in his own words, it's the additional uh, funding mechanisms that he says have nothing to do with voting. Is Chuck Schumer making a mistake in pushing this big bill, the For the People Act, and saying that he wants a vote on it uh, by the end of the month. And two, if he does bring it to the floor, will you vote against that bill? Well, I've been pretty clear on that. I did an op-ed back home in, in, in uh, West Virginia. It came out today and laid out my, uh, my concerns and, and my preference of what, you know, what I think would happen. Uh, you know, voting is the bedrock of our democracy. An open, fair, secured voting. We used to go around the world and explain and show and observe voting pr uh, procedures in a democracy. And now if we can't practice what we preach and we're going to basically do an overhaul, an 800 page overhaul of the voting uh, rights or what we call for the people act. I think there's a lot of great things. I agree in that piece of legislation, but there's an awful lot of things that basically don't pertain directly to voting. Listen, his vote would be important if he also was voting to override the filibuster because that's what that's what it would take to first to to get to the next step of actually passing uh this federal takeover of our voting systems i really think his constituents need to be a little bit wary here and actually really uh, pay attention over the coming weeks obviously if he doesn't support hr1 and if he doesn't support gutting the filibuster then both of those two items are dead but jordan uh, by expressing support for the john lewis voting rights act a bill that we have no idea what it'll look like by the time it gets to the united states senate that bill could very well look very much like s1 so if he votes for that bill but the substance is the same as s1 then he hasn't kept his promise it's the exact opposite of what everybody said were the problems of the last election that cast doubt on that put doubt in people's minds wrong or right and which led to chaos and and, and that yet they they want to codify that into law i really think that the election that we saw in 2020 would actually be the high water mark as shocking as that may sound there's only one direction for this to go if washington dc is making all the calls and that is that these rules would get worse they would get le uh, uh, more problematic for states uh, and the federal government would continue to absorb more power this may not be the piece of legislation that joe manchin senator from west virginia is willing to put his foot down and say I'm going to you know, support getting rid of the filibuster, legislative filibuster. Uh, is he open to it in some other way? Uh, basically, give me what I, I want, uh, put it in terms that are better... Uh, you know, more acceptable to me. Joe Manchin says he doesn't like S-1 because of, of these provisions that are in it, but he does like the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Well, Speaker Pelosi herself says that that bill, which is basically a placeholder from a bill that was introduced last session, deals mostly with preclearance requirements from the Department of Justice. Set all that aside, Jordan. She herself says that's a bill that won't be ready until the fall. Well, what will make it ready? Jordan, I'm here to tell you that the thing that is very likely to make that bill ready ready to pass is that they're going to lift provisions from S1, the Four People Act. They're going to drop them into the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, and they're going to move that for, through the House and send it to the United States Senate. So you're going to end up with a bill in the United States Senate that is named the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, but the substance is mainly going to be the S1 bill, and it's going to be specifically on the voting provisions. When the fall comes and there is a bill in the U.S. Senate named the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, and it looks a lot like like S1 and Joe Manchin says he's going to vote for it because it's got the voting provisions in there. Jordan, those are the problematic provisions. I want to put this all on your radars because I think Joe Manchin's op-ed is correct. He opposes this as it stands, but he's not against the provisions we're talking about. So, so, and he's put forward what he would support, which again, as Stan said, could be a very quick name change and maybe a couple small provisional changes. So we've got to watch this very carefully, folks. It's not done yet.